हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर स्टार्टेड लेसन नंबर एटीन द एनवायरमेंट एंड अस नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द रिमेनिंग पार्ट एफर्ट्स टू मेंटेन बायोडाइवर्सिटी बायोडाइवर्सिटी पार्क्स एन एरिया व्हिच इज रिजर्व फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिंग एंड conserving the biodiversity of a region is called a biodiversity park biodiversity means what variety among living things so in these biodiversity parks we can observe variety of plants and animals in these parks biodiversity is both preserved and studied people visiting such a park enjoy being close to nature this leads to more concern for nature national parks some areas which are important for the protection and conservation of wildlife are reserved for them for example the kaziranga national park the tadoba national park kaziranga is famous for the rhinoceros and tadoba is famous for tiger now sanctuaries certain forest areas are reserved for the protection and conservation of a particular animal or plant such a reserved area is called a sanctuary for example the radhanagri sanctuary for bisons it is famous for bisons if the plants on the earth are destroyed the number of animals also fall that's why it is necessary to protect plants in forest if deforestation is stopped and instead tree plantation is stepped up animals that depend on plants will get protection and thrive mayani lake has formed due to a dam built on the chand river in satara district flamingos from the siberia region in northern asia migrate to this lake here they build nest and lay eggs once the baby birds grow big enough they return with them to siberia in the recent past as the water level in the dam had fallen the flamingos had stopped coming however the lake has now been declared a sanctuary for birds there is a maldok great indian bustard sanctuary at nannas in solapur district these huge weighty birds are famous for their graceful gait these birds live in open grasslands they feed on insects as they are hunted for their meat and their eggs their number is fast dwindling dwindling means decreasing maharashtra state has declared the nannas area a sanctuary for the great indian bustard deer are also found in these grasslands about 50 km from pune on the pune ahmednagar highway the village of morachi chincholi is famous for its peacock population the old vellukad after tamarind trees here have created a favorable environment for the birds pea fowl have found sanctuary in this village devra is a boon for all living creatures indian culture gives importance 
टू द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट द देवराई इज एन एग्जाम्पल पीपल बिलीव दैट देवराई इज रियली अ जंगल रिजर्व फॉर गॉड नो ट्री और प्लांट इन अ देवराई इज एवर कट दैट्स वाय ऑल ट्रीज इन अ देवराई आर सेफ इवन टुडे महाराष्ट्र हैज मेनी देवराईज इन मध्य प्रदेश दे आर नोन ऐज शरण वन देवराईज गिव शेल्टर नॉट ओनली टू द प्लांट्स बट ऑल्सो टू द एनिमल्स दैट लिव देअर हेन्स देवराईज कैन बी कॉल्ड द सेंचुरीज ऑफ एंशियंट टाइम्स ऑलवेज रिमेंबर नेचर प्रोवाइड्स एनफ for every man's need but not for every man's greed what we have learned from the lesson there are interrelationships between all living and non living things in the environment different kinds of plants animals and microorganisms are found in different regions the balance between the cycles of the various gases in the atmosphere the water cycle and food chains has been maintained for thousands of years pollution of water is a threat to aquatic plants and animals we shall all have to make efforts to stop the degradation of the environmental balance caused by human intervention devrais biodiversity parks national parks and sanctuaries are created for the conservation of plants and animals i hope you have understood the topic so for better understanding read the topic once again and do the given homework